Hey everyone, today I'm doing the Kingscote Farmers Market, as you can clearly see. So we're going to head down this track now and show you what's going on. So let's do it. Yep, speed limit 25. Make sure that we always go by the rules. Say it's accidents, you know. Coming through. Oh, there's a little bit of um, nice green pasture. It has been raining the last couple of days, on and off. And it's actually quite a beautiful, look at the beach out there. You can see all the beach out there. Unfortunately, it looks a bit gray at the moment. It looks like it's gonna storm a little bit. But hey, it is what it is. So, yeah, really good. In, we can go this way. Get in that way, make it easy. Yep, here we go. We're coming down now. I'll just get out obviously, just find some gear here that I need to very quickly get, and we're out. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. So I've got a little bit of stuff happening at the moment. As you can see, quite a few cars. Quite a few cars. Go through. This place is very, um, when you drive in, it's actually quite a little bit detached. You wouldn't think it was actually here, but the markets are set up. Good as well, they've got a disabled park as well for people, you know. Okay, so we're coming across. Sounds like we've got a few people out. We'll go up here first. Local barber over there. And it's ever present everywhere. <laughs> it's ever present everywhere. So I do apologise, there is a little bit of wind. Let's have a look what we've got, shall we? We'll go to each and every one as I do this. Looks like we've got a, a honey, a honey marketing thing here going on. I would say this is all natural products of course people, so if you ever want your honey, this is the place to come to. This lady will definitely sell it to you. Absolutely. <laughs> Say hi for the camera. <laughs> so you're local around here? Yes, yeah. Okay, how often are you, are you here? Every, every second week. Every second week? Excellent. There's some honey. Have a look. Who doesn't love honey, eh? Now you know where to come and get it. So when you see it, come over here. Support. Support, as I say. Here we've got kale and plants and all this type of stuff. Here we go. Sylvie, Radish, say hello. hello. <laughs> You're here every second weekend too? Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Okay people, you know where to come. If you're local or you're a tourist, you've got some really good products here obviously. So definitely come over, grab what you can. Looks like there is short supply, so if you're lucky, come and get it. We're moving I'm on. Happy Pack customer for Pinot Plant. Okay, we've got a happy customer. Very happy customer. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have to have a look in here too. Oh yes. Looks like we've got looks like we've got jams and 
What do Ma we have? Mar marmalade, pickles, chutneys and jams. Marmalades, pickles, chutney and jams. Yes. Okay. And you're here every second weekend too? Yes. Excellent. We also have some oh, really cute little knitted socks yeah, down here. <laughs> so there you go locals, yeah. tourists, etc, etc. Come you. over and get your goods. <laughs> Absolutely. It's locals helping locals out. Oh, it's, be it's a beautiful view. You've got the beach right out there and everything. It's just spectacular. Now over here we have... What do we have? Petite Provence. Okay. And we have smoked olives. Yeah. Various other gourmet products. Okay. Tomato salsa, Hell's Bells with a, with a kick. Right. Well, there you go, locals and tourists, of course. If you come over here, which is on Kingscote Markets on Kangaroo Island, you get all this fabulous stuff here. It's very yummy. Check it all out. Look at that. How can you go wrong? I mean, seriously, this is this is some good stuff here too. So definitely come over and grab this stuff. And it's a fine gentleman. Now, are you here every second week as well? We are. Okay, and what was your name? Kevin Bridget Bruce. Daniel, how are you going? Petite there you go, look at that. Petite what a firm handshake. He's going to look after you, this fellow, I tell you now. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep moving along. We'll keep going. Thank you for your time. Next we have, it is local grown and made gifts from Carol's Garden and Stephen's Shed. Alright, so, oh look at this. This is really cute, people. Look at this. Viewers, subscribers. And every tourist that's out there at the moment who wants to come over and check it out, we've got little plants and this is really cute. Really cute. So, obviously if you want your plants and you're a bit of a green thumb, or maybe not a green thumb, because some people have trouble growing, they can't even grow a lettuce in the back of their yards, come over here. This kind lady here, are you here every second week? Yes. Okay. And what do you specialise in mainly? Just the, the plants and... Succulents, yeah, I have the ones for just for four dollars. You can have something hardy that doesn't mind the wind and the rain and the sun. And... So, in other words, somebody who isn't a green thumb, this will yep. not die on them, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just, no matter what they plant, they always seem to die on them. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is really good. Really good. Oh, here you go, people. Here's some pictures down here. I do apologise about the wind, it's beyond my control. And you're here every second week, right? And what was your name? Carolyn. Carolyn. Nice to meet you, Carolyn. Thank you. Okay, we'll keep moving. This is where you come to get your stuff. Guys, this is where you come. Bye. <laughs> now over here, we have premium KI lamb. This is obviously where you get This is where you get your best of the meats of the meats people on the market day, eh? There you go, supplying the finest restaurant restaurants in SA now delivering to your door. You can phone 0427 504 580. Naturally grown on Kangaroo Island. Now I don't know if he's over every second weekend, but we'll ask him. Hey you go, mate. You yeah, over right. here every second weekend? Yeah, every second weekend. Excellent. What was your name? Louis. Louis, good on you, Louis. Good on you. Thank you. And of course, you specialise in all types of meat, I presume? Uh, just lamb, all of our lamb that we grow ourselves. Ah, awesome. So it's local produced on the island? or? Yeah, 100%. Oh, there you go. So guys, here is where you can get your lamb if you want it fresh, straight from the... Well, well there you go, straight from this guy here. So there you go. Alright guys, we'll keep moving on. See you later, mate. Thank you, see ya. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. If you like drums and weaved bags, by the look of it, this guy's got it going on right here. Now, we also have some specialized, oh, here you go. This is Kangaroo Island Sheep Milk Soap. Look at this stuff, this is quality, guys. If you want, oh, and it smells absolutely delish. Oh, that's, look, this is, this is, this is, this is good cost as well, like, you know. I'm going to ask him a few questions in a second once I scan around at his products. 
How you going, my friend? Pretty good, my friend. We're doing a bit of a view at the moment, so all the locals and the tourists can see what's going on. That's good. Are you here every second weekend? Every second weekend. Yes. Every second. And what was your name? Second and fourth Sunday. Ah, oh, there you go. And what was your name? I'm Sam. Sam. That's Alison. Alison at the back there. Yes. Okie dokie. Alison makes the soaps and the candles. Okay. And of course, you're here on that time. Now, this is all locally done on the island, isn't it? These are things, yes. Oh, this is perfect for people who want to come over and grab their soaps, and they smell so good. Thank you. Looks like you've got a few few native drums as well. Yes, I make them here too. Right? You make all your drums? Yes, indeed. Oh my goodness, this guy's got talent. Yep, they're... <laughs> yep, they're genuine. <laughs> They make noise! <laughs> we'll keep moving on. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. This is where you come, subscribers and viewers and tourists and locals. Come get your stuff. It's good to have a little bit of music in the background. Now, we all know this fella. We've seen him before. He's known as Pete Nash. His partner's Lisa, and he actually owns KI Coffee. Uh, sorry, it's Chocolate. Chocolate and coffee, of course. And we're back to the wonderful Pete Nash, who actually happens to be at the market. To, uh, he never stops working, this fella, always, seriously. <laughs> so how are you today, Pete? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Not too bad. Looks like he's... See, this is his little little stuff. He's, he has his little um little van that he does everything in, obviously. And he's always busy. And look how dirty I am today. Oh, my goodness. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Might have to get you some baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do a venom. <laughs> so this is his little um, van here that he, he comes into. Cup of Joey. Kind of a cute name, of course. And look, you know, Joey's definitely a kangaroo uh, nickname, slang. So, all right, Pete, everybody knows all about you from the last video. <laughs> so we'll keep moving, mate. But no cute little van. It's good to have you back on the channel again, my yeah, friend. No worries. See ya. See you around, my friend. You can find him, of course. Uh, oh yeah, one other question. Are you here every, well, how often are you here? Every first and third Sunday of the month. Right, yeah, there you go. Yep. Subscribers, lurkers and viewers, you heard it. And I'm sorry about the wind. I will keep going. See you later, Pete. Uh, sorry about my hand, I was just trying to cover up the wind. Over here, we have a Sarant workshop. And I don't know how often they are here. And it looks like there's a few other little things, but we'll have a look. Now this guy's a little bit busy. Uh, this, sorry, this lady's a little bit busy, so we'll cover that in a second. We'll come over here. We have homemade sour cream. This is all obviously local to Kangaroo Island. Looks like we've got a few other little things here. I'll, I'll zoom in for you to see. Here we go, look at this. It is, oh yeah, we've got olives and quite nice. Are you guys here, how often are you guys here for? Every market, two weeks. Yeah. Every two weeks? Yeah. Cool, and it's all local on the island here, right? Yeah. All sorts of here? Awesome. We try to let all the subscribers, viewers, and tourists, and everybody that to know about you guys, you know what I mean? Helps business, and it also helps let people know what's going on within their community. Awesome. Right. Well, you know where to come if you want your... Yeah, homemade sour cream and everything else. <laughs> now we'll come back over here. Oh, I, can just, I can just leave it in a paper bag anyway, that's fine. It looks like these people sell out rather quick. Thank you. Looks like they're all types of breads, I would no doubt say. I all sourdough bread. All sourdough bread? Yep. Okay, and how often are you here at the markets? Every market. So every market. Fortnight. So you're here every fortnight. Awesome. So, oh, that's cool. And it's all, of course, it's all local on the island here. You make it all yourself. Yep. There you go, people. That's where you come to get your your breads and stuff like that, obviously. All right, we'll keep moving on. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Looks like there's a little cellar door sales thing there where you could go in and get your. I'll have a quick look in a minute. Oh, here we go. You get your platters and stuff as well. We'll keep moving. What have we around here? Let's have a look. We have... I don't know what we've got here, but we're going to find out. Oh, here you go. 
we have, looks like some cute little cupcakes. It looks like they're, they're starting to pack up. So you're here, how often are you here, my friend? Uh, every market. So every every market. market. And what do you specialise in on this, on this well, store? Cakes and pastries, sweets, and pies, pasties. Right. Like that. Yeah. And of course, obviously they sell out rather quick because you've looked like you've already, <laughs> looks like a bit of a blank table at the moment. <laughs> yes. No, all gone. Sold out within uh, an hour today, so it's good. Wow. There you go, guys. Get over here. It's all happening. And it's already quick. Look, even these, even these things, look at that. It's like empty. Wow, we're going to have to come earlier. Okay, now here we have four chickens. Oh, this is the Mexican KI Mexican kitchen. We've got kids' meals and all that sort of stuff to go with it. And I'm pretty sure these. I, I'll ask. How often are you here, my friend? Every market. Every market. So there you go for you tourists and visitors and locals and lurkers, as they say. Come over, get your stuff. It's a good old Mexican kitchen here, KI Mexican kitchen. And I'm sure this guy will cook you up a feast. Well, actually, she's the one that's doing it. See, she's yeah. in the back. Ah. Just, just it it never changes, does it? Yeah. It never changes. We always she's make the women Mexican. cook, don't we? Yeah. We always make them cook. We always make them cook. All right, guys, thanks for that. Me, I've got a big YouTube channel. So I show all the tourists that come over and all the locals and that. So, yeah. really good. My pickled octopus I sell too yeah. over there, but it's sold out. Ah, so you do pickle octopus? Pickled octopus, so my husband's a prey fisherman. You're going to get a so lot of people uh, from overseas going to love that, I tell you. They're going <laughs> to... Yeah. I'll give you my card soon. I'll make a trip back all around, all right? Sounds good. All right. Say hello, guys. <laughs> Some more locals. Now, we'll head this way first, I think. We'll just see what these guys have got, and then we'll head over there, okay? I do apologise about the wind. It's beyond my control. There is nothing I can do about it. This is called Eden, <clears throat> let's get it right, it's called Eden on Kangaroo Island. So this is another, another uh, local I believe that is set up for everyone to come over and have a look at her delicious goods. Here we have, oh, people you're going to love this because last time we spoke about this, Ligurian honey and it's popcorn as well. Oh my god, you could eat that down in chunks, seriously. You, you, you could make yourself, you can eat so much of it, you probably get sick, but don't do that obviously, it's not probably not good for you. We all love our honey and we love our popcorn. I'll zoom in a little bit, ah, fudge. It's not much this, left. I can see that you've, you've gone pretty good on it too. So you're here, if, how often are you here? Uh, every market, every Kingscote market. Right, okay. Second and fourth or Sunday every month. Right, and you specialise in fudge and that sort of stuff? Fudge and popcorn at the moment. Right, and it's all locally made on the island, right? It's locally made by me. Oh, the, <laughs> there, there you go. What was your name, sorry? Gina. Gina, hi, Gina. Hi. Now, for you subscribers and viewers out there, obviously, this is where you come to get your fudge and even your Ligurian honey popcorn. So. Very good. We've got some more stuff here. Oh, you can like her on Facebook too, I'd say. I might even have a, see if I've got a spare beer on me. Hang on. Now this is really good. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. There you go. We'll keep moving around, obviously. This music in the background is actually rather good. I don't have to do any musical stuff. It's all local. <laughs> So we're going to cut across here. This is excellent, 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 excellent. Now over here we have, and this is going to be good too, we have some lovely ladies and they've got all this type of stuff here. So I'm going to make sure that I don't miss anything because I'm sure that if I miss anything you guys and girls out there are going to go, why did you not show me this? So we'll talk to the ladies in a minute. So I'm just going to zoom in on some stuff here. Oh, look at this. How cute is this, guys and girls? Oh, look at this. This is so cute. I'm going to ask in a second what they're all about. But I think I've got a fair idea. But I don't like to make assumptions. So, ladies. What is this all about? What do you do on the market markets here on Kangaroo Island? And what, what do you want us people to know? <laughs> what, do, what, what do you sell? What do you specialise in? Whatever you see. Whatever we see. Oh, yes. 
And you're here every market, which is every... Mostly, yes. Mostly? Awesome. Awesome. So, this is good stuff. And Coral does her honey biscuits. Yep. Okay. Oh, here we go. Laverian honey, honey biscuits. We've got one that's in a cockatoo thing here. This is pretty cool, actually. Now, for those that don't know what cockatoos are, um, you should, but some of you don't even know what kangaroos are because you're over state and overseas. They are native to our island, um, and yeah, not all cockatoos obviously are native to Australia, but we do have a few. This is really good stuff. This one's native. That one's a native? Yes, that's the glossy black. The what, sorry? It's the glossy black cockatoo. The glossy black cockatoo, I just got told, is native to this island. We'll zoom in a little bit on him. He's a biscuit, but he's still native to us. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So if you want any of these little things, as you can see, all you know, all the craft stuff that you can get your hands on, it's all here, really it is. It's all here. Thank you for your time and I appreciate you showing us what you have. I'm sure the tourists and subscribers and all that will love it. Okay. So around spring, you reckon it's the best time to go? Um, it's spring, summer. When, right. When, when, and then we get a big um, produce, uh, fresh produce market van from the Riverland. Right, right. And everybody comes to get their fruit and vegetables. Fresh, okay. Yep. And and uh, we got a lot of food stalls. Okay. And and that brings the people in. And yep. then there's more craft people that come when it gets busier. Okay. But there's some of us that try and come through the winter because we don't want it to die out. We right. want it to keep going. Exactly. So, so um, we say that if we come to the markets and it's quiet, if we make store hire, we don't lose a thing. Right. And if we don't make it, we've had a great time with our friends. That's excellent. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. There you go, people. Did you hear that? I hope you did. Thank you for your time, ladies. No it was wonderful talking to you. Looks like we've got a few other things over here. Oh, here you go. Phones, mobile phones. Are they? No, they're not. They're no? They're landline phones. Landline phones. See, I just got told the difference. <laughs> landline phones. There you go. Looks like you specialise in a few different things here. Handmade glass. Handmade glass. I remember the old, old, uh, the old style where they used to blow the glass and everything like that. This is fused glass. It's made flat and it's made in a kiln. Oh, okay. And you're here. How often are you here for the market? Every market. Every market. Every market. Yep. This is good. Yep. People like a good regular, you know. Market. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. You know, so they know that if they turn up, you're going to be here be for them. Here. Yep. So there you go, people. There's a few extra things that you can see. Now I'm coming around here. I see some regular faces here, of I course, think. for our markets today. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is B. She's an awesome, awesome oil lady. Right. Hasty <laughs> cheek. Yeah. <laughs> Hasty <Hosty> cheek. <laughs> so, so you guys are here every market? So yep. You are. Excellent. Excellent. Because the YouTubers and all the tourists and everyone likes to know what's going on within the market. So, say hello. <laughs> yes. Yeah, to talk about... Awesome. Terra. I'll zoom in on that. Ah, okay. So if you want to come and get your stuff, this lady here will show you all about it, obviously. So if you're a tourist, or even, a, even if you're a tourist or a local or anything, Queen Bee they call her. So there you go. <laughs> Are you native to the island like the Ligurian bees? <laughs> <laughs> 20 years. And 20 years. Oh, look, you're native then, if that's the case. Oh, there you go. Oh, here we go. What is this? Ooh, you tell me. I'm going to try this. I just got off with this, people, so... That's definitely got some stuff in it. I hope so. <laughs> 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 I 
it. What's in it? So it's nice, but what's in it? It's a peppermint bliss bite. Peppermint bliss bite. Mmm. <laughs> That's not bad. I'm getting offered another one. <laughs> I'm getting tempted here. She better not put too much weight on me. <laughs> no, that is very nice. Okay, so if you want your peppermint bliss bites, I think I got that right. Uh, yes. Come over. I'm sorry for talking while my mouth is, is full, people, but we'll wow. zoom in. That's from the second uh, bliss bite. That's wild orange was in there. So I've used essential oil in the chocolate bliss bites. Right, okay. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for letting us know that. And you're here every market, obviously? I am. Awesome. We'll zoom in over here, a few more things. No, this is really good. This is really good. Queen, thank you, Queen B. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now we do have some other stuff up here too. There's a lady that sort of stepped out of the way a little bit so she can show me. Thank you very much, so she can show me exactly what she's got. We have. It looks like organic, multi-purpose. Ah, here we go. We've got. Fridge, washer. So this is obviously dish, so this, okay. From what I'm understanding, and let's see if I've got it right. I'll look at it when I say this. This is cleaning products, right? Those ones are yes. Right, cleaning products, and they're all natural, obviously cleaning products. All natural stuff. Um, the fragrance is not anything chemically. It's right. all like essential oils. Right. Not the one B does, but right. essential oils. Okay. Um, so it saves you using bleach and all the harsh chemicals that people absolutely hate to yeah, do, right? Yeah, it's good stuff. And Jamie actually has a shop front in Pennashaw. Yes. So you can right. not only have a look at what she has at the market, but go to her shop in Pennashaw right. and see her whole range. Wow. So you, you, you're you getting around, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Are you here every market? Or? Every market that I right. can be. Yeah. And at Pennashaw as well. I'm at the, I have my stores in Penishaw, but right. I don't do the Penishaw markets yet. Okay, yet. okay, cool, cool, cool. That's excellent. Excellent. Okay, what's this stuff here? Chen Drinker, what's that? That's soap. That's soap. Soap, soap from India. Soap really from India, stuff. really good stuff, yeah. all right. So I do lots of fair trade things right. from all over the world and it's to support people with low income families. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well this gets to go on my YouTube channel so I'm sure a lot of people will see it. Yeah. I'll see if I can give you a card so I don't have to come back over here again. <laughs> it's a bit of a walk around this market actually. You wouldn't think it it's that big but... It is. It's nice that the pedestal markets are quite compact. Right. And these ones you actually get a, a tour sort of thing. Oh. There you go. Perfect, thank you. Have a great day and we look forward to having you on board as well. Sweet. I think that's about it people for today. Um, I will have a little bit of a look because I need to obviously do a little bit of editing to clean this up. I won't take out anything important of course because I'm sure that you guys and girls out there want to see exactly what's going on. So. But we will make our way around here now and I will have a quick look at a few other things as we go. Okay, this is the cellar door. So I was going to make a part two of this, but I thought no, I'll come and get it done now so you guys can actually see what's going on. Look at this, this is pretty cool. Wow, look at this. Oh, that's obviously what I... Oh, I can smell um, the fermentation going on in here. So obviously this is where they keep all their stuff. All right, we'll go in and have a look, eh? Oh, look at this, people. This is really good. As soon as you walk in, you're displayed with the Kangaroo Island... <laughs> Not Kangaroo Island feet. <laughs> kangaroo Island mat. How cool is that? I mean, that's great. Here you go. Hello. So, viewers, when you see this, and if you're, especially if you're a tourist, this stuff is really good. You want to come over the cellar doors here. Look at this. I mean, this, this is incredible. Come back. <laughs> oh, look, we've got awards. We have awards everywhere up here. So these guys know what they're doing, obviously. Wow. Awards and stuff. 
Now we have tons and tons and tons of different wines. Obviously, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see them. Right, we'll quietly make our way out, but we will come back later and we'll ask the necessary questions we need to, and we might do a part two. Okay? We walk in, we walk out. <laughs> okay. Of course, there's some nice, comfortable tables here. Uh, sorry, yeah, chairs and tables. All right, people, this seems like about it. We are now going to um, finish it off. And yeah, it looks like the local um, singer, I've got to stop saying um as well. The local singer has now left, so that's good. All right, people, until next time, have a great day and bye.